Hi guys, this is Don again. One of your peers uh, brought up the fact that there are some good calculators out there free for use on the web. And one site that I think has quite a few good calculators as well as some good information so on the theory behind the calculators is StatTrek. And uh, StatTrek has been around for a number of years and I've referred students to it and I apologize that I forgot in this term in 233 to, to mention Stat Trek because it is an excellent site. Let's look at this problem that um, was giving some of you students uh, difficulty and it is a normal distribution uh, curve problem and again it's about a sample of 800 gas stations the mean price was $2.83.2 per gallon with a standard deviation of $0.08 cents per gallon. Remember that we're looking at a sample of 60 and we want to know what is the probability that the mean price per gallon is less than $2.82.9 per gallon. And so we've got to differentiate the fact that we've got the mean and standard deviation for the population mu the mean, sigma the standard deviation, those are population parameters. Now we want to look at a sample in which we have to look at the statistics. Remember we had to adjust sigma, the population standard deviation, by dividing by the square root of the sample size, 60, to get our sigma sub x bar, which is the uh, sampling error or the standard de deviation of the sampling distribution and that turned out to be um, 0 0.0010 once we've adjusted that standard deviation. Now if we look over here with the StatTrek calculator um, when you open it up it comes up with the standard normal curve information just like stat crunch does. That means it in the standard deviation of one of the standard normal curve. We want to look at the sampling distribution so we've got to change these parameters and we put in our standard deviation, the one we just saw for, by adjusting sigma to get to the sigma sub x bar and that's point zero zero one zero. Our mean is two dollars and point eight three two and that is because remember that for a normally distributed population and since we've got more than 800 gas stations that's far more than 30 so we can assume the normal distribution anyway the mean the population mean uh, is the same as the sample thing distribution mean so we can just put in two dollars point eight three two in our mean and we want to know the probability of getting less than two dollars eight two nine and in this stat trick calculator you can see that it's showing this is the probability of x being less than our sampling x and we've got everything else set up so we should calculate and it gives us that the probability of getting a value less than two point eight two nine dollars is point zero zero one three five which is the the answer um, that uh, was required in my stat lab I, might, I would mention to you that occasionally you're going to get some rounding errors when you use these calculators, whether you use Excel or StatCrunch or um, uh, StatTrek here. And, and the reason for that, when I actually calculated the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, I had a lot more decimals out there and I rounded it to four decimal places. You can see now that this probability, the cumulative probability, is 0 0.00135 and if you use classical rounding you would round that to 0 
and in my stat lab the answer was 0 0.0013. Remember that I will review your quizzes and exams and um, I will look for these things and give you credit when I see that it's a, a rounding error. So don't panic and assume you have to use the manual tables. Of course you can, but these calculators are close enough and in, re in the real world, um, whether it's 0 0.0013 or 0 0.0014, that's very small probability. And, and uh, so let's don't get too upset over splitting hairs like that. The, the second problem this student had a difficulty with um, is just finding Z scores, normal scores. That's when we take a raw score and we convert it to a standard score. And we can still use the StatCrunch calculator to do that. The question was, the standard normal table, um, they give you an area from that standard normal table of 0 0.0152. That's the area to the left of Z. And we want to know what that Z score is. And we can solve that here again with the StatCrunch. We're going back to standard normal, so that's a mean of zero, a standard deviation of one. We're going to put in, let me get rid of this z-score that's we're going to find, and we're going to put in our probability of 0 0.0152. And again, that's already rounded, so just remember that rounding errors I will hunt for. And we've got that in there, and if I put calculate, it gives us a z-score of minus 2.165 and that is the answer that my stat lab was looking for. The only thing about the stat track calculator is that it doesn't give you the nice sketch to help you visualize what the problem is asking and what, where the answer should be. Now stat track gives you the, the summary there, the probability of uh, getting a value less than a standard score of minus 2.165 is 0 0.0152. So remember that StatTrek has a number of calculators there um, and as well as the tables. So uh, do make use of, of those uh, calculators that are that are on StatTrek.